this taqwa is in fact needed for our worldly betterment as well last time i had said that to bring taqwa in our life we need to sit down and think about allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the authority of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the harms the benefits of obeying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the harms of disobeying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala generally to make it easy to understand and all these muraqabat all these uh, lines of thinking are driven from the quran the first thing which is easiest for people to understand is the world which is dunya right here in front allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our creator the one who knows us inside out he has told us that taqwa listening to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obeying the command of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to protect you from harms and difficult situations in this world man yattaqillaha yaj'al lahu makhraja whoever has taqwa of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whoever is conscious of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala definitely makes a way for them yaj'al lahu makhraja so all of us we run into difficult situations we run into hardships but the people who are mindful of allah who have allah on their mind and who are working to please allah for them allah himself is promising that i will make an a way out for them and not only make a way out for them rather not only protect them from the harm but also provide for them so not only pushing away the negative or the harmful but also allah will give us the beneficial wa yarzuqhu min haythu la yahtasib allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for them not only does allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for them from a place where they never expected yarzuqhu min haythu la yahtasib allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides allah is providing allah will keep providing for such a person from a place where they didn't even expect so the first thing that we should remind ourselves and we should keep talking to ourselves about is that this taqwa is for my own self and the hereafter is going to come much later and a lot of times we have a hard time thinking very vividly or having a very vivid concept of uh the hereafter but the first thing which we can very easily all do is think about the worldly benefit which we keep on doing all the time generally taqwa being mindful of allah being worried about doing something being scared of doing something that will displease allah and being worried about pleasing allah all the time this is a very beneficial thing Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala protects from all worldly harms and Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for such people from a place where they didn't expect. And if you think about it in our lives how many times has it happened that we were stuck and Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala found a way for us. Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala made a way for us. Similarly, we were expecting that we will we do not have risk, we do not have provision. We are waiting for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to provide for us from a certain direction Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides from somewhere else in a much better fashion all of these are the blessings of taqwa having Allah on our mind secondly we should think about the hereafter because as a muslim it is our belief it is a very real thing it is not a fairy tale it is not something that is in the air no it is very real we see people passing away around us all the time we hear that certain certain such and such person although they were young they passed away very young child youth old people all of them all of us everybody has to go from this world whoever has come has to go and their hereafter starts right away 
द पीपल हु लिव देयर लाइफ विद अल्लाह ऑन देयर माइंड थिंकिंग अबाउट अल्लाह टॉकिंग टू अल्लाह हैविंग अ एक्टिव रिलेशनशिप विद अल्लाह सुबहान व ताल अल्लाह सुबहान व ताल हैज़ कॉल दैम अलिया अल्लाह दीज आर माई फ्रेंड्स दीज आर माई क्लोज फ्रेंड्स Imagine we are going to end up in our grave. Who will be there? All the friends and all the relationships of this world have to be severed. Our own children, our brothers, and our parents will, with their own hands, very willingly and very gladly, put us in the grave. Will not want to keep us with them anymore, and there will be no one there. except one who is everywhere and that is allah so if you are not friends with allah if you have not thought about allah or not worked for allah in our life then how could we expect allah to be there for us to be our companion in the darkness of the grave But for the people who are, who have brought faith and are muttaqi, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying that these are my close friends. These are my close friends. So imagine in the grave we will have a very close friend with us, and that Allah is everywhere, and that Allah is going to deal with us like a close friend, somebody who really cares about us. somebody who is really happy with us so no sorrow and no fear allah says no sorrow and no fear la khawfun alayhim wala hum yahzanun no fear and no sorrow the fear of what's coming forth what is going to happen when i'm going to be raised and stand before allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the day of accountability what did i leave behind the things that i did and that sorrow is not only mental sorrow over the past that will be a very physical very visible sorrow the punishment that may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us a sinner will face in the grave and in the hereafter it's not only going to be a mental sorrow that oh i'm a, i i am i'm ashamed or i i am uh, afraid of what will happen to me these will be physical torment physical modes of punishment in the grave our beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam has told us in so many hadith about those things so my dear respected brothers the one thing that's going to save us is the friendship with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore while we are alive and while we have a chance we should imagine how important it is to make friends with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not be negligent anymore to not be negligent is taqwa to be mindful of allah to think about allah to do what allah has told us that is taqwa so therefore my dear respected brothers our allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our beloved allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised that the people who have taqwa i will make them they are my friends and i will make sure that they have no fear and no sorrow the third thing that we should be mindful of is that our allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said huwa ma'akum aina ma kuntum he is with you wherever you are and he has further very clearly said ولا يكون من نجوى ثلاثة إلا هو رابعهم ولا خمسة إلا هو سادسهم. It is not that you are there's three people who are talking that Allah is the fourth one and there's four people Allah is the fifth one. So therefore, or any number less than that or more than that. Allah who are with them, aina ma kanu wherever they are, Allah is with them. So therefore, my dear respected brothers, 
to have this haya with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have shame and consciousness towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this regard for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that my creator my provider is right here with me and still I'm disobeying him one is that a slave is working when the master is not looking and the other thing is that the slave is disobeying the master and the master who's what who controls the slave inside out not only provides for them and protects them but keeps them alive and gives them the energy to do what they are doing in the vision in the presence of that of such a master the slave is disobeying the master and making the master unhappy Allah has very clearly said we are everywhere I am there so if we think that Allah is not everywhere then that takes a very basic concept that ensures our taqwa away from us therefore my dear respected brothers and uh, sisters this third kind of muraqabah which is what we all are invited by the Quran to do to think about to establish this in our mind and in our hearts is that my Allah is always with me my Allah is ever watching all knowledgeable he knows and sees what I'm doing and develop that shame within ourselves develop that haya that regard within ourselves that my Allah is always watching me how can I disobey my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we have this taqwa then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes care of everything lahumul bushra fil hayat dunya wa fil akhirah glad tidings for them for such people in this world and in the hereafter so the benefits of taqwa are not limited to the hereafter benefits of listening to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making friends with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are not only limited to this to the hereafter you start to get the benefits right here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects you from all harms Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for that muttaqi person from a place where they do not even expect from where they didn't even think that it might come Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them from where they didn't expect and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes them their friend and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends angels to them which give them good tidings although they, might, although they, although they cannot see them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises that even in the hereafter there will be no fear and no sorrow for such people they will be my close friends may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those people may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who constantly remind ourselves of all these things so that we are always mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thinking about the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the favors that Allah constantly does to us and being in the knowledge and in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the horrors of the hereafter that are coming forth may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us such a realization of all these things that we do not have any moment of our life that is of faithlessness that is of disloyalty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is one of the first lessons that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught humanity Sayyidina Adam alayhi wa salam this was the first lesson that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through him taught humanity that sin has an impact that disobedience has major impacts on your life on your economy on what you are getting from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us understand amin ya rabbal alameen rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanta samiul alim wa tum alayna inna kanta tawabu rahim brothers who haven't prayed the sunnah please do so now wa jazakallahu khairah